first technique, which is a method of breaking the middle finger. Detail the close up of the hands exactly how to grab. We grasp three fingers. My knuckle here is present on his middle knuckle. There's a pulling and twisting action. And it's these sharp, abrupt snapping actions that break joints. It's very easy to break an elbow when an elbow is relaxed. Would you sleep up, please? The elbow is relaxed and it's quickly snapped out. Very difficult to break when the elbow is locked out completely and you're muscularly trying to snap it. Same thing with the finger joints. Relaxing them and snapping them is the trick. And you utilize the motion with a downward sharp action of your head. Technique number two. In this one, the hand grabs like a handshake. The motion can grab all four fingers, or again, you can reach in and simply grab three fingers. The thumb is going to create a rotating effect here. You don't want to just use muscle power like you're grabbing a wrist. You want to lock your thumb into position. You want to lock your arm and forearm into position. And you want to, by extending your forearm, extend him. A lot better than muscularly trying to move them is simply my motion of my hip does the movement for me. When I do that, I catch it up underneath my arm, and all I have to do is bring my hands down. We need to warn that these are not restraining techniques. Number one, I can't hold somebody down here. That's not the intent of it. The intent is to quit breaking fingers. This is not a come along technique. I'm not going to be able to transport somebody here. It's intended simply to break the fingers. So you need to keep in mind these are only concepts who are joint breaking techniques. Technique number three.